Welcome to Aftrad Village Kitchen, the home of traditional African delights. Here you get to learn about Ghanaian traditional foods and I have sauces and spice blends like shito and my 10 spice blend which is full of natural spices for your jollof, your stews, everything is an all pepper spice. So do check it out on my website. Plus, I also have my recipe book, my 101 Ghanaian Cuisine, an introduction to Ghanaian foods. It has many more other recipes as well. So do check out my website, www.aftradvillagekitchen.com and shop for these products. Plus, there are so many recipes out there for you. Do follow my Instagram account because I do give live cooking sessions with tips and techniques and whilst here on my youtube channel don't forget to subscribe because there's more coming your way hello everyone i hope you are doing fantastic today we got stocked in another shop in peckham your popular kumasi market now has my avk 10 spice blend so go check it out today i'm just going to inspire you on um, a dinner idea i love indian curries and i'm going to make indian curry okay so i am bringing it to you find the recipe on my shop page it's called chicken curry this is chicken thighs that I cut into strips and I've seasoned it with a 10 spice blend, some onion, some spring onion, some garlic, ginger, and fresh tomatoes. Find the full recipe on my shop page. For the curry spices, I've got some mustard seeds, some cardamom, fenugreek seeds, some curry leaves, some turmeric, um, cashmere pepper, cayenne pepper, black pepper, fennel, and cumin. So I'll be using some ginger, onion, garlic, some coriander leaves, some coconut oil, and some tomatoes. I'm using tomato plum, plum tomatoes. So let's get started, shall we? So I am just going to melt one tablespoon of coconut oil, and that is enough for my curry. And whilst that melts, I'll be adding the cedar spice. So this goes in, the cedar spices goes in. I want it to toast, it will start popping and I know it is being activated, okay? And I know things are going on. So it has started popping. Can you hear it? Ta, 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 ta. Yeah, it's popping. So while I don't want it to go on for too much, so I then add in my chicken. So I should have added in my powdered spices before adding in my chicken, but I forgot. But it's not the end of the world because I can still add it in here and I just make sure I mix it well and it gets coated. Look at this. Doesn't it look beautiful? Yes, and it's not even cooked yet. So imagine. So I'm just going to let this coat it for a while. I'll actually cover it for all the spices to get infused. It smells good, 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 good. So I'm going to add in my ginger, onion, and garlic. And I'll let that infuse as well. It's smelling like curry already, but it's not done. Not done yet. I'll let it simmer for about 40 minutes and for a good while for all the flavors to marry and get infused. I've added in my canned tomatoes and i'm just going to i'm just mixing it in and i'll let it simmer gently no need to add any water okay i just rinsed out the can with a little bit of water that's it and this is how simple making indian inspired chicken curry is okay so easy big flavors mm. so let it simmer for about gently for about five, 40 my curry is almost done I'm adding some coriander leaves for that touch and I've not added any other spices because you know everything was seasoned really my Indian inspired curry is ready to go with some basmati tilda or tilda basmati the only time I love to eat tilda basmati rice is with so Indian basmati um Indian curry and basmati rice ready and you know I've made some homemade naan bread to go with it isn't this great 